Hello, hello. Welcome back to Pyre. Um, it's been a little bit. Ready to get back into voice acting. I got a nice little T here to keep my voice going. Um, you'll notice that I do not have the camera on anymore. I went back and I was editing some old videos and I saw that uh, my camera was covering characters and um, if I'm being perfectly honest, it was a little embarrassing seeing myself doing such crazy voice acting. So I just thought for everybody's best interest, it'd be a little bit better if we just kind of chill. So um, we're gonna let the game speak for itself. My face doesn't need to be on screen. If you feel a strong way about it, um, my face will be on during the Blender segments. So feel free to come hang out and look at my face during Blender. But anyway, let's, uh, let's jump right into it. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to stream a little bit longer on Pyre just because I want to kind of get through this game. Um, but we're going to play it by ear because uh, my voice does hurt a little bit of the way through this. All right, we'll start with Sir Gilman. Master Reader, this knight is humbled after having passed that sorceress test. Wah! By the scales of the Underking Ores. What is that you have? It's ore scale. Sir Gilman jumps further than usual. Not very good. All right, who wants to talk to us? Oh, uh, Volfred. All right, Volfred, I've had trouble coming up with your voice for a long time now. Look at that lovely little melted candle. There you are, my girl. There was something which I wanted to dis discuss with you in private. Volfred stares at you rather intensely as if reaching out to you and then you do know what I mean, me, what it means to be a reader. Those such as we, we are not limited to reading pages from a book, though your ability in this I sense is nascent. What? Is uh, nascent still, mere flashes, uncontrollable. I see as well now that they haven't told you yet, your friends, and that explains a lot. They haven't told you, readers, such as you cannot go free. I had wondered why you would insist on pressing onward with this group in light of this. The answer, then, was plain. You simply did not know or fully realize. They did not deceive you, by the way. There is no reason they would know themselves other than Tariq, who shall not influence your thinking in such matters. Rather, I had expected, when we first met, that you already knew the truth from having read the passage in the Book of Rites, which states it plain. Only those who shall conduct the rites firsthand shall walk the path toward enlightenment and become eligible to regain their freedom. Perhaps you have not gotten into that part just yet. Uh, I didn't read it all, bud. Uh, Volfried breaks free from you and looks at you again. Then he speaks to you as normal. It is plain that you are not in adequate condition to conduct the rites. And this group values you as a reader. I wish only to ensure you understand what you are getting into here. Despite whatever hopes and dreams and promises might have been shared, I do not think the rights can help you return, if that is what you had in mind. So, once again, I invite you to depart, and I will see to it that you are compensated. Do not misunderstand. If it is your wish to remain, then you are welcome. But this journey we are on, it has no guarantees, not for you, nor any of us. Do you understand? I do understand. You understand the words of the warning, yet, just the same, you choose to carry on. There is more that you wish to achieve on this journey than free freedom for yourself. I admire that, my girl. Then, very well. Know that we have, we have much at stake here in this anyway much more than just a shot at going back into the Commonwealth, which cast us down here to begin with. It sounds like you intend to stick around. Then we'll have lots more time to chat as we ascend the sacred mountain in the coming days. Until then. He strides out of the wagon then, leaving you with your thoughts. All right, Volfred. You're cryptic as always. Let's go. Earlier, Volfred called for a group meeting, presumably to review his plan in detail. Instead, he reveals some bad news. Wait, 
What are you saying? What I'm saying, my boy, is that while we can indeed get yourself out of here, it can't be all of you at once. We earn our way back one by one, or not at all. But I thought, I swore we'd go free together. We may go free together yet, but it's going to take time, and this is only the first phase. You, Hedwin, and the others exchange glances. Let me make it plainer for you still. Here is how the coming days are going to unfold. First, we're going to ascend Mount Olodio, there, there to the north. You may not think this wagon's fit for it, though rest assured, it's made the journey many times. Next, we'll pass through the Scribe's Gate. Only the worthy pass through there, as your reader could attest, if she did not merely skim that chapter of the book. Afterwards, we'll reach the fall of Solomon, and we'll meet our adversaries in the rites. They are, too, to be the Tempers, led by the demonic Igorus. You'll know him when you see him. Both you and they shall choose someone from your respective ranks. Then once one of the trivi triumphants prevails, their someone will be whisked home to the Commonwealth. Whisked home to the Commonwealth? Precisely. Once returned, our somebody is taken in and clothed and fully pardoned. The Commonwealth knows about all of this. The same Commonwealth that says a sentence in the exile is forever and freedom from the downside is impossible? Many of those details the scribes themselves wish to keep secret. Former exiles and the leaders of the Commonwealth alike have good incentive to protect those secrets well. So then, that's it. We climb the mountain, someone goes back, and everyone else stays? For, the most, of, for most of those participating in the rites, yes, that's it. But I like your connotation, and indeed for us, that isn't it at all. If one of us returns, it shall just be a step along our path. However, let's let that sit for now. Gather your strength. We'll talk again on our way to the top. Bulford leaves the rest of you to consider what he said. You have time now to your vocations. At dawn, you shall begin your ascent to Mount Olidio. Okay, I am forced to mentor a companion. I must mentor a companion. Who do we have? Oh, Gilman! Faye, Rookie... Rookie might be our boy. Oh, I like Rookie. I like Rookie and I like Pamitha. Pamitha, let's try and get Pamitha going. Come on, can you hit it? Fine then, let us chat together for a spell. Pamitha gains a somewhat stronger grasp of how to better pass the celestial orb through will of, tr uh, through strength of will and trust in one's triumphant, than through dexterity alone. She nods in understanding. Oh, oh, she's so close. You know that we all feel your guidance when we have that orb, don't you, reader, darling? All right. Pamitha, I think you're not going to make the trip, so I think it has to be Rookie. Okay, I have a plan for who's ascending. The ideal is Rookie, Pamitha, Sir Gilman, and a couple of characters who we may have not met yet. All right, look at this lovely scenery. I mean, this is crazy. Here before you lies Mount Olidil, stretching far beyond your line of sight. Somewhere upon this mountain lies the only place from which you can escape the downside. Your companions gather round again before Volfried, who stands tall as ever. Whether from the cold air or the subject now at hand, you sense a tension in the air. Now then, you all have many questions, no? I've done a lot of thinking, so go on, ask away. But there's only science. One question stands out in your mind, which you refrain from asking yet. If only one of you is going to go free at first, who shall it be? Go on now. Don't be shy. Who first? Questions? Why us? Oh, I gotta work on Joe Dario's voice now. Why us? Why you indeed, madame. That I cannot explain. You've seen the sort of stand ag you seen you've seen the sort you stand against as adversaries in the rights. What is it that they want, do you suppose? They want their freedom back, of course. They'll settle for it on the Commonwealth's own terms. They'll gain their freedom in some cushy new responsibilities. 
Perhaps then they'll have a hand in sending still more exiles here to join us. Think on it. The Commonwealth rose from the ashes of a fallen empire thanks to the efforts of the first exiles who escaped this place via the rites. It is the Commonwealth's first and proudest tradition to honor those ones who have lived to redeem their transgressions. They have a certain wisdom, do they not? But as for you, I have been looking for a certain set of dispositions for a good length of time. All I needed was for somebody appropriate to show up and to listen. So I planted many little eyes and ears throughout this land, whispering hints of this, absurd as it may sound, took somebody with a certain faith and creativity to go for it. That someone proved to be Hedwin over there. He was tasked with seeking two trustworthy alleys, an old buried wagon and a reader. He was invited to bring others for the ride, all different sorts, gather enough help, and he and his friends could earn freedom. Long story, but you know much of the rest. So then, why you? Because you've reason to believe that you're not the sort to play right into the Commonwealth's old hand. The rights as you have seen are quite inclusive, exclusive. You are imposters in this little party. You could be the ones to break it up. Now then, more questions. Your head is beginning to spin. You can excuse yourself or keep listening. This is important, obviously. Wolfred's explanations are a lot to take in, but you feel compelled to absorb as much as he of what he is willing to tell you at this point. He prompts for further questions when Jodariel raises her voice again. Hold. You misunderstand my meaning. I understand your plan. Still, I wish to know, why us? Why are we, among others, chosen for this liberation right? Ah, I see. Well, but that is simple, really, madame. You are chosen, you are qualified, should I say, because as the express goes, the expression goes, tis what the scribes ordain, though in this case, the expression is quite literally true. When the eights created the rites, each one of them annotated certain other exiles to participate on their behalf. Exiles who showed some promise of redemption. The triumphant they formed have stood the test of time, replenishing their numbers as their individuals moved on or passed on. You've met them as they are today, the accusers, the withdrawn, and so on. The eight scribes are formed a special group, against which all the others would be judged. Their group they called the Nightwings. You bear their books, wear their masks and raiments. You need but show up to the rites, you see. The others erstwhile jockey for position for a chance to take you on. Yeah, well, wh what if we don't? What if we don't show up? Then you would deny yourselves a chance at freedom and deny it also to your adversaries. Victory means nothing in the common right. Then participation is all that matters. Not so, madame. Only the enlightened may regain their freedom. While failure can be an excellent teacher, the subscribes do favor the victor. So you see, those who do not conduct the rites or do not prevail in themselves sufficiently, they may find themselves barred from the liberation rites. But these are technicalities. The Nightwings disbanded years ago. Since then, no one has gone free. Yet still the other triumphants pressed on, with fleeting hope that one day you'd be back. It's been a heavy price to pay in all of this. Now if you'll excuse me, we'll talk again some other time. Some murmur to themselves about all of this as Wolfried takes his leave. Others recanter pathways leading up to the uh, mountain and present you with some options. All right, Faye believes the eight scribes will bless whoever goes through here or Pameth some long lost valuables to be stashed here. I always take valuables over experience because we're running a tight gambit. You joined Pamitha on her brief expedition to find anything of value dropped from those who tried to scale the mountain but did not succeed. Wait, I shall be joining you. What now? I get two chaperones? But sure, I'm game. Whatever you wingless are into. Be silent, little bird, and fetch those trinkets and be done. My, so full of bitterness. You really ought to make the most of these last 
precious moments that we share, and you ought not mince your words. Oh, please, we all know you're going to be the first one out of here, so why not quit your constant frowning for a change? I, the first one out of here? Of course, it's plain the others pity you. You've been here longer than the rest of us by far. Besides, maybe that Volfried, though he seems pl plenty happy here, making his speeches. How dare you? How dare you presume? Nothing is decided as of yet. Oh, no, no doubt, no doubt. Though, if by some coincidence you d do end up being selected for the honor, I just want you to know something. I truly, from the bottom of my heart, do hope we shall prevail on your behalf. Because that way, you shall be free, of me at least. And I, in turn, shan't have to suffer any longer your hideous attitude towards me and everything. At that, you intervene and Jodariel's eyes burn with fury, but then she calms herself. I shall see you in the wagon, reader. Pamitha scoffs as Jodariel storms, storms off. I swear that one. Well, moving on. There's something sparkling down there. Be right back. She swoops out of sight, leaving you alone he there on the mountain. Pamitha soon returns with something that lay long forgotten in the rocks below. The Titan's Tooth! After blocking airborne adversaries, the bearer briefly stuns them and knocks them back. Eh, it's not very good. Alright, we got two more. Hedwin expressed a, a passing whim to see the view from here. Sir Gilman wishes to look upon the sacred waters here. Oh, God. Look at Gilman. Gilman's right there. Oh, and the snake lady's here. Oh, man, we got everybody here. Okay, I didn't notice this as we were walking up. It's got to be Gilman. I like Gilman. Gilman's cool. At long last! The worm surges through the waters of the cistern. You decided to join him for a brief excursion, thereafter another hard day's ride. You find him in a shallow pool, appearing very much contented. This, this night, he thought he may never again feel fresh water's cool caress against his scales. He sighs, splashing about from time to time. Then he turns his attention over to you. You, Master Rita, you are most kind to take with you this wayward knight. He swears to prove him himself to you and to the rest. He knows that soon now someone may go free. He knows the choice of whom may weigh heavy upon you indeed. For it is you who ought to make the choice. Is that not so? This night he heard it from the others, so it must be true. Now listen, please, upon where this little honor this knight has. This knight's uh, penance isn't yet completed. There's much atoning to be done. So when rises the occasion to decide who ought to go free, this knight wants you to know something. Please, do not choose him, not even if you wish, not even if you can. He begs of you. Allow this knight that simple dignity. With that, Sir Gilman sinks into the waters. His tail waves to you, and, and you leave him be for now. All right, Gilman. You don't want to be led free. Let's not be free. You're definitely, like, first on the list, though. <laughs> Look at that little little boat, or that little uh, airplane. What was that doing over there? All right, ready for the deep lore. You and your companions gather at Scri uh, Scribe's Gate, where the single narrow trail to the summit narrows even more and falls under an archway carved of stone. Come along now, everyone, and be prepared to speak your mind when you are called. Frankly, most of you still lack enlightenment, but we may pass together much how we act with a single heart and mind during the rites. Well then, lead onward, Tariq. Please, follow me. Tariq's going to have a high voice now. I don't. I, Tariq is too hard for me. Removing his hat, the lone minstrel proceeds to the gate. You and all the others follow. When the last of your companions nears the ark, you notice somebody standing high above, who then appears before you. She lay, She eyes the lone minstrel first. Is that you, Tariq? It is. Greetings, Celeste. And 
How was your rest? Too long, Celeste. It seems your work has piled up in the meantime. You bring this many to the gate? I. Then let us make this quick. She gestures towards the rest of you. Now, each of you, in turn, state who you are and what you seek while crossing the Scribes' Gate. Do as she says, please, without questioning. Your fellow exiles exchange glances, but quickly comply. Oh, God, I have to do everyone's voice. This is it. We're done. I'll start. They call me Hedwin the Deserter. I've come here seeking freedom for myself and my companions. In my case, so I can return to be with the one whom I love. The woman bids him forward. The lone minstrel promptly prompts Ruki to speak up next. They, uh, th I am regarded by the name Ruki Greentail. I just want to get out of here. I guess, with my chums, preferably, go see Mama back home. I am Captain Jodario. I do not, I do not truly know as yet what I am seeking here. Oh, uh, my name is Faye, and I am here, I think, because the scribes have called to me. I must, I must be them, because if not, then who? Tiza, good as ever. Sir Gilman of the High Sea Domain, at your service. This knight is on a quest to find his honor. He lost it at a certain point. Pamitha Ten, I'm here, I'm only here because my sister's here. Then, as Wolfried steps forward, the one called Celeste raises her voice. You! I recognize you from the night wings of the past. You are not clad in the raiments any longer. I would know why. I had my chance already. The night wings that now stand before you. I travel with them as a pilgrim now. I see. Then state why you are here, as have the others. My name is Wolfried Sandalwood. I seek liberty for each of us, so that one day we may all stand shoulder to shoulder on the other side and bring our freedom to the people there. She waves him by. Then she turns to you, for there is no one left to go. You are just a crippled scholar. I'm crippled? What the heck? Where did that come from? Uh, that's a strange story arc I did not realize. Uh, your youth is gone, but your thirst for knowledge earned you a trip to the downside nonetheless. War orphan, years of strife between the Commonwealth and the High Wing remains. Nope. Try as you might, you cannot make any details of what life was like in the Commonwealth. I think that's the better option. You cannot, for the life of you, recall a time before arriving in the downside. Details of the Commonwealth are scarce within your mind. Perhaps you wanted to forget the place. The one called Celeste continues to examine you, expecting you to add to your response. Uh, state what you truly seek. To help my friends is probably to see what happens. You just want to see your quest through to the end. You are not one to go through life examining whatever it is that you desire. You take life as it comes and are content to appreciate some of the surprises. The woman regards you for a time, then nods once and waves all of you by. The eight scribes bid the night wings welcome here. Go forth with glory. And Tariq? Aye, Celeste. Be on your way as well. The lone minstrel bows his head and puts his hat back. He does not look back at her. There's some sexual tension between those two. All right, big book. From the top of Mount Oladil, you can see the distant downside before you. You think on the many thousand leagues you cross to reach this point as the sky grows dim. Okay, the mercy shown. Jodario. Jodario, I'm not letting you out. Don't worry. You can chill. The mercy shown. We're good. Jodario appears to be prepared for whatever is to come this night. Though it is not yet dark, she was already in her raiments. Hedwin all soon joins her, also looking ready. Any signs of Ruki? None, as yet. Complained about a chafing at the collar of his mask. 
Our freedom might be hinged on that collar, then. I am certain that it is. They share a common laugh. The three of you exchange glances, but nothing is said or needs to be said. Soon, if Volfried is to be believed, one of your companions may regain his or her freedom. Hey, what I miss? Am I late? Is it starting? Is it starting yet? Easy, Bruti. We got a little time. It isn't starting yet. How fair your struggles with your mask, Greentail. Feeling a lot better, thanks. I just had to smash it repeatedly against a wall for a little bit. Put some of the old nerves to bed there for good measure. Though, this is really happening, huh? One of us might be getting out of here, like, soon? By dawn, in fact, if all goes well. If all goes well. That's one way to look at it, I guess. What are you getting at, Greentail? Well, it's just... We might be breaking up the band here, people. If one of us gets out, that's been bugging me for a while now. I thought we were all getting out of here at once. He shoots a look at you. Some of us, we might not be getting out of here at all. Hedwin slams his fist against the wall. No, not if I can help it. We made a promise to each other, each of us, the four of us. We're all getting out of here. I care about the others too, I do, but we've been here from the start. I want you to know my promise is to you, and I believe you'll do the same for me. So it's like this. If any one of us gets out, great, but it's just the start. We're going to do whatever it takes there on the other side to make it so that the rest of us can get back to. What? You think they're going to build a bridge down here if we ask nice or something? I don't know what it's going to take. I just know we have to try. Jadariel turns to you. Rita, we shall find a way. She nods and assures you. To assure you and to reassure herself. Ruki nods his head in turn, and Hedwin gazes never Hedwin's gaze never once falters. Well, my friends, I think it's just about time. Let's go. One by one they turn to the door. The fall of Solomon awaits, a vital step in your quest for freedom. Yet you feel in your heart that it shall only be the first. Yeah, your three three companions each gain plus one hope. Cool. Let's go for it. Uh, Falcon, what do you got? Psst. Hey, guys. So, just so you are aware and all, I know how come you're here. How come you made it all the way up here? Oh, I know all right. You're here because I got the lowest prices and all the downside. Am I right? And some of the new stuff I got in stock, you're going to get a lot of value here. An awful lot of value. What do we got? Ooh. Unlearn any masteries and choose again. Uh, I've been very careful, so I'm not too, too worried about that. Six, two, three. Okay, what am I selling? What am I selling for all of this? Jodaro casts her aura further. Let's get rid of the Nox Shroom, and we're going to go for this. This should pay itself. Wait, is that a new item there? What am I looking at? What is that up there? What do we got? We got an Ashen Coal, that's normal. Uh, Kerr Fang, that's normal. Lunar Glass, that's normal. Okay, it's all normal. Yeah, this... We're playing better than this. We don't need this. Let's go. Uh, you guys really are my favorite customers, you know? Yo, you're my, you're my boy, Falcon. I got you. Is everybody prepared, Hedwin? Yes, though several of us have another question that's been troubling us. You need but ask. You said that one of us is going to return to the Commonwealth if we defeat the Timpers in the rites this night. What happens if we fail? Hedwin, my boy, don't you see? The path to freedom and the path to enlightenment are one and the same. Do you intend to stray from the path? Oh, I used the wrong voice. No. Then you have nothing to fear. But let me be much more upfront with you. Should you be defeated by the Tempers this night, then one of them shall end up going free instead of one of you. It is as simple as that. What then is to be done? The very same as if we achieve victory. We await our next such opportunity and make the most of it. Tonight our plan is set in motion. We are united in our cause. We shall look as ever towards the stars for guidance. 
and seize upon our future chances just as they arise. So look up, my boy, and set aside your doubts. It is time to take such great strides along the path. All right, it begins. So ideally, I would love to get rid of Pamitha. I think Pamitha is an interesting character and she is definitely the most controversial character. Oh, look at that backdrop. Let's do it. Oh, look at the minstrels. Gorgeous. This is gorgeous. Man, the question of like, what fantasy world would you like to visit? I'd love to visit this. Oh no, I skipped it. I concur. The pyres burn and each of the triumphants is present and prepared. Then anointed one of the tempers. Come forth now and declare yourself and pay any respects you have onto your adversaries, the Nightwings. A massive demon swaggers into view. He reaches for his mask. You, oh, how am I gonna do this voice? You know who you are already, but look at what we've got here. The damned Nightwings decided to show up. Almost figured we'd have to never see the day again. He takes notice of someone in your ranks. Hey, you! He indicates Jodario, who scoffs back at him. Lose the mask. Ain't seen one of our own in ages. Not in these damned robes. Jodario hesitates. Hesitation is almost impeccable before she moves to remove her mask, just as her adversary asked. Satisfied? Whoa, you must be new. Jodaro soon puts her mask back on. Enough talk. Ha, huh, I like you curly horns. Tell you what, once we put out your lights, you come along with these guys. We're gonna have a spot open. Only shame is I ain't gonna be around to show you a good time. I should cut out you, my tongue. I should rather cut out my tongue. Oh, and you don't mean that. Our kind, we ought to stick together. Now, come on. Ignarius throws his mask back on as his allies snar at the rest of you. Hey, what up, Kurt? I remember you. Have the Nightwings reached a decision on whose behalf they shall conduct this rite? The lone minstrel gets your attention in his subtle way. Reader, this is it. The first companion whom you choose shall be anointed to go free this very night if you prevail. The other two in the triumphant shall lend their aid. As you may know, only the most enlightened and the rights are eligible to go free. Not all among you may be ready yet. Now, Nightwings, I would have your decision. All right, who's gonna go free? Oh god, it's it's only Rookie, Faye, or Gilman. So, Gilman has specifically asked that I do not do it. I want him primed on the other side. Faye... <laughs> I don't think Faye is, like, capable <laughs> of doing anything. So it's Rookie. It has to be Rookie. And I don't know if we lose an item or not, so uh, I'm gonna experiment with an item. Whoa. The game crashed, what the heck? Hold on. The game hated that, hold on, we're back. I hope it's saved. That was weird. Why did it crash like that? All right, I'm going to stick to uh, Mouse until we play. Fall of Solomon should be saved. We should be good. Please don't be like a game-breaking crash. I'd be very upset. 
All right, we got everything we needed. We have these. Yep, 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 yep. Everything's normal. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. We're skipping everybody. Commence the last right. Blah, 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 blah. Let me back, let me back, let me back. I should have removed Rookie's item right then and there, but oh well. Okay, so it has to be Rookie. I mean, there's literally no other choice. It has to be Rookie. There's no one else it can be. I just don't think Faye is cut out for the Commonwealth by herself. She might be good later, but right now, no way. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, even our banners are showing up in the stained glass. That is so cool. God, this place is gorgeous. This kind of reminds me of The Witness. It looks a little bit like the last area of The Witness. Um, I'm intentionally refuting spoilers because it's not the last area of The Witness. Double spoilers, but yeah. All right, all right. They flirt with each other, blah, blah, blah. Demons suck. Cool, 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 cool. Gotcha. Thank you, bud. Who shall be anointed? Please don't crash. Okay, so, uh, Rookie, we need to give you a bad item. Um, thorned Knot. So we're going to give him this, and we're going to see if we get it back. Doesn't he have a special item? That's only worth eight. So I'd rather sell his more expensive item. Yeah, okay, cool. So, Rookie, you're up. We're anointing you. Excellent choice, sister. Now, let's get me out of here. Then, the gate guardian looks upon you and your adversaries. Very well, then. Under the watch of the eight scribes, here are the stakes of this eve's liberation rite. Should the night wings prevail, the one they call Rookie Greentail shall be liberated. Should the tempers prevail, the exiled, the exile Ignarius shall be free instead. She then turns to you. Now, who among the night wings shall complete your triumvirate? They strive alongside Rookie Greentail and see to his return in glory. All right, all right. It's Pamitha for sure. Hedwin, I want it to be you, but you don't want it to be you. So, Hedwin, we'll break yours for now. You can you not go, Hedwin, since you... Or, uh, Gilman, sorry. All right, so, Pamitha, it's you, and you will get lucrative contract. Pamitha's good. You got it, reader darling. And who is last? Hedwin? You have a lot to gain, Hedwin. We could use Hedwin, actually, as sort of a crux. So, Hedwin, it's finally your chance. It's your first time ever playing. Good work. Good luck. Uh, we want presents, because we need to join the presents, because everyone has pretty small presents. So, you're going to be our presents guy. Yes, perfect. Now we're full. Sounds good. Now, let's bring Rookie home. Very well. The eight scribes accept your choices, reader of the Nightwings. She then indicates to the lone minstrel. Now, are you fully prepared, Tariq? Aye, Celeste. Then let us all begin. Nightwings. Been waiting a long, awful time to get out of this hole. Try and stop me. That man. Is there no obstacle in this map? Oh, there is. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, they have a cool party. They have a really cool party. Wow, what a what an exile right there. Well, that was easy. 
No! <laughs> Come on! Okay, there's an easy kill. Okay, okay, we're playing. We're doing this thing. Boom, Pamitha, first one in. Oh my god, they have a lot of health. Rookie, I need you to sink this shot. We're keeping you alive. Rookie, you're up. You're, you're the man. Rookie, you got this. Rookie. Let's go for it, Rookie. No! Get destroyed. Try me. Try me, little baby boy. No! What? Oh, I passed the ball. I did not realize what I was doing. What? Okay, well that was not great. Come on, baby, you got it. Come on, you got it. Come on, position, we got it. Come on, we got it. Oh, that was a forced drop too. Wow, I just let him have it. Come on, we're not losing this. I do not want to lose this. This is it. We're getting weird lag issues. Why is this game having so much trouble all of a sudden? Wow, they're destroying us. Okay, we can't afford... Hey, uh, your little blue campfire over there. It's starting to look thin, ain't it? Those chumps, they're rustier than we are. Just don't let on. They know who's number one. Let's keep it that way. Faye, you night wings ain't as tough as everyone says. Unless you're saving something for me, eh? Come on, show me what you got. I mean, I'm gonna do my best, man. Get him. Come on! Yes! Okay. We're pulling this. We're pulling this back. Rookie, I need you to go hard. I need you to do this thing. Honestly? Let's go crazy. No! Give it to give it to your boy. Your boy's gonna go faster. No! Oh god, we're gonna lose! I am going to save Scum if we lose. I know there's people that don't want me to do that, but I got to do what I got to do. No! Oh, God. Oh, God, that was so close. She threw in midair. Why did she do that? How did she do that? You think you're going to, like, try and bully me out of the orb? Like, what the heck? Who do you think you are? Come on, Rookie. You're our boy! Rookie! Okay, we're playing a close game here. Close game, close game, really close game. Ooh! Oh, gosh! Okay, okay, three more. Three more, let's do it. Get destroyed. I'm not letting you take it. I'm not letting you take it. You can't have it. I'm 
I'm not letting you have it. I'm not letting you have it. Crazy. This is crazy. This is too much. This is too much. I can't take it. Oh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Two more. We're here. We're, we're killing it. No. Oh, is that it? Nope. We're loading checkpoint. I'm safe scumming. I don't care. We're right at the end. I'm not letting this happen. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm all the way back here. All right, we're skipping, skipping, skipping. I can't believe what just happened. Oh my gosh, they're so good. I cannot, I can't let it happen. Rookie has to get out. We have to like have a rebellion in the Commonwealth. I cannot let them win. I understand the game is designed to like have a story either which way, but in my mind, I can't let this happen. All right, next up. Let's do this thing. All right, we're playing smart this game. Very, very smart. Oh, gosh. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. This guy's got a voice that hurts my throat. If I do it every time I do this, I would die. All right, let's do it, Ignarius. It's going to be Rookie. Let's see it. Is Rookie, baby, with the thorn knot. Anoint. All right, Rookie, show them your colors. I think I was relying too much on Rookie the first time we played this. So I think I'm going to take Headwind next. And he needs the presence for sure. Although... Hmm... Yeah, he'll take presents. That's fine. And I think instead of the bounty, because we're not getting really bounties, this is too hard for bounties. Um, I like this. We get we get a free like insta save in case we mess up. So let's take that. All right, we're in. Let's do it. What a scary match this is. Okay. That guy just <laughs> kills himself every time. Okay, get them, get them destroyed. Oh gosh. Oh wow. You're not going to get me like that. How can you do that? <laughs> what is that play? That was as good as it gets. God, I hate the snakes. The snakes are so good. Get destroyed. What? I hit him. Okay. Headwind. Go fast. Go fast. Headwind, go fast. Okay. We're in. We got one. That's faster than we did last time. Oh, okay. Snake is down. We're going to just take advantage of Snake not being here. Take advantage of Snake not being here. Wow. What a, what a destruction that was. Whew. Oh! Okay, Rookie, you're up. Rookie, go fast. What? Wow, what a setup that was. You want to fight Rookie? Go ahead. You can you can stick to Rookie if you want to do that.
Okay, okay. We're, we're leading. We're playing just fine. I cannot kill this guy. I cannot kill him. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Okay. We're, we're doing fine. We're all right. We're all right. And we have a free kill at the end there in case we lose it. Don't try me. Don't do that to me. Don't do this to me. Glory dive. We recover five health. Let's do it. Oh, kill him. It did. You're right. But I went crazy mode. Yes! Go, oh, we're winning. We're doing it. All right. You good for nothing, Nightwings. Skip out on us for years and years. Then show up all of a sudden like you're going to let somebody out for once. But now we got to work for it, I guess. Damn it. I used to be the best at this at least, but now, the pressure's getting to me. Can't believe it's getting to me. Ah, uh, Moria, I doubt you'd even recognize me anyway. Come on, Nightwings, let's see you keep this up. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Okay, we have, we have three hits left. We're gone. Wow, he's he's good. He's good. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Recharge. Hard counter. Whew. Okay. It's 2-2 two -two right now. No! Okay, we still have a win on that regard. And now we have one less guy to worry about. You can't, you can't, you can't get me like that. Oh my gosh, these snakes. I hate the snakes. And we're in. No, we had it. Okay, okay, yes. Um, who do we want? Yeah, we'll take Pamitha. Pamitha's good. Okay, easy win. Let's do it. One win away. Oh, gosh. No! Oh my god, okay. It's down to the wire. It's 1-1. One, one. This is it. This is all to play for. This is all to play for. This is it. This is the final. This is it. Oh my gosh, I lost again! <laughs> no! No, my gosh! 
Oh, we are going to save Scum twice. I suck. Wow, that is so disappointing. I'm so upset. That sucks. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm doing my best to treat this like a boss fight rather than like an inevitable loss. Headwind is definitely the member keeping us back, aside from my own play. But man, these guys are good. We're going to start losing more often after this, I think. I think the AI is um, going to ramp itself up quite a bit. Oh my gosh, I'm sick of seeing this cutscene. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> Man, that snake is crazy. The rest of them, I don't have a huge problem with. The demon's pretty good. I mean, Ignarius is great. But, like, it's just that snake. Snakes are insane. There has to be, like, a pretty easy kill on a snake somewhere. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> We've seen it all before. I can't believe they got me at that last moment there. I think I might take... First off. Yeah, we'll take the thorn. It's fine. All right, rookie. Come on, it's got to be you. It can't be anybody else. And then Headwind, Headwind, you're going to get... Oh, gosh, it's so tough. You have to have presence. It can't be anything other than presence for him. And the final one, Pamitha, you're going to get... I mean, that's not going to help us that much. What's better for you, I think, is quickness. So we're going to give her quickness so that we can actually rush some objectives with her. And we're good. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do it. Okay, we're starting Rookie. And I'm gonna play. I'm going to play a harder game. We're going to play a little bit more on the defensive end of things. Okay, not bad. We're playing a hard game. We're not going to worry too, too much about all the semantics of things. And again, we're getting some weird lag on this map. Wow, that should have killed. Okay, easy enough. All right, this is going to be a perfect score. We're going to we're going to perfect this one. Okay. We're going to perfect score this one. Come on. There's a fire burning in me, and I cannot let it go. Ooh! Yes! Okay, the quickness. The quickness! Oh, we're here. Fire's on. Fire's on. Okay. Yep, yep, you're upset. You want to see your old wife. You're not human anymore. I get it. It's a shame. If only you weren't a dirk. A, a, a jerk. A dirk? What's a dirk? Yo, Rookie Hero! Rookie's a hero! Go, please score! Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect score. We're perfecting this. How did I not have this in me up until now? How did I not have this in me until now? Oh, 
Oh man, they just teamed me pretty hard. Okay, so we didn't get a perfect. That is perfectly okay. Rookie, you're our boy. You're the one who has to earn your freedom. All right, all right. One more. We're gonna play this one as dirty as we can. Check it, I'm gonna hide. We're gonna place, and we can't. As dirty as we can play it. Oh my gosh, we lost. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe we lost that one. That was as bad as it gets. Cool. Boom. I'm sorry for saves coming. It's here on record. I'm the worst. I know. I don't care. We had to get Rookie home. I played God on this day. All right. The scribes have chosen. Let's see it. Later, Rookie. Gah, what a joke. We should have had this. You had it twice. You should have had this. Got all rusty. You've been waiting so damn long. Damn it. Damn it. Night wings. Be seeing you around, I guess. And next time, you ain't gonna be so lucky. All right. There goes Rookie. There's his statue. So, uh, what now? I guess I'm just supposed to jump into this waterfall thing back here and then that's it? Home free. Home free? Something comes over him then. Now listen to me, chums. Don't any of you go thinking you're gonna miss me, yeah? You're gonna do just fine, even without old Rookie Greentail there to keep an eye out on all of you in time. Even though the rest of you are just a bunch of slowpokes and all that. Me? I'm going to be so busy drinking myself silly in the Commonwealth stock, I'm sure I'm soon going to forget each and every one of you. Nah, but just in case I don't, you be sure and stop by and visit me if you get back there too. Just look for Mama Greentail's shop, right in the heart of town. You can't miss it. So yeah, stop by, say hi, you know. Now, uh, I think I gotta go, so, um, excuse me. He drops into the shimmering pool and disappears within although you can still hear him going on about something. Oh, let me tell you, this this is weird in here. Hey, it's starting to... Uh, wait, 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 wait! Rookie earned his freedom. A rookie is, uh, is set to return to the Commonwealth and leave the downside forever. May he return in glory. Oh my god, they flung him. He's gonna get whiplash. The cycle of the rights may soon commence. All right, Hedwin. You got your big boy pants. I think I'm beginning to understand some, understand something of all of this, my friend. All right, Hedwin, you're our kind of ace, even though you're terrible. He gains 50% more stamina, letting him jump and sprint more often. That's pretty decent, actually. Um, and his allies regenerate stamina twice as quick as usual. That's exactly what we need when you're not in play. While bearing the orb, Hedwin and his allies move with and pass the orb much more quickly. Is Hedwin a cleric? <laughs> Hedwin and his allies may instantly return from return banished owls by moving to where they fell. What the heck? Can be banished 
can cause banished adversaries to remain banished for two seconds longer than usual. His power recover is equal to 50%. Yeah, I mean, we're just going to buff our allies, right? Like, I don't care about Hedwin. All right, Pamitha, you finally leveled up. If only you leveled up one round sooner. All in all, having to unlearn everything I've just learned is going somewhat faster than expected. What do you got? You can use her dash ability in rapid succession and for less stamina. Saluting, she instantly switches places with her nearest ally. Permanently gains plus eight quickness. After five seconds after ban banishing an adversary, Pamitha moves faster than usual. Um... Yeah, you're going to have to use dash. Because you're not going to be much for this world, I don't think. All right, next up. So that's probably going to be it for stream today. I'll try and go a little bit longer than normal moving forward, but that was exhausting, and I, I feel a little embarrassed that I lost so much. After your victory over the Tempers and the Liberation Rites, you return to your wagon to decide how to proceed from here. I miss him already. It is quieter now, but I... We'll see Rookie again if we persevere. Our journeys end now begin... Our journeys now begun in earnest. We'll just need to take a few last preparations while we're here. What about the stars? Can we afford the time? about that reader go see for yourself the night sky over mount oladil is much darker than you would have expected your thoughts are with ruki as you look towards the heavens you gaze into the darkness of the night all right what are we looking at are we going all the way back home hello You search and search the sky, but in vain. No stars are shining now. Got it. I got played. The stars reveal nothing, did they not? You confirm his suspicions. It's as the book foretells. This is the chance we need to take to make ready for what lies ahead. There's a haven south of here. We'll travel to it at dawn. And then, when the stars decide to shine for us again, we'll be ready. Mark my words. All right. Edwin, you want to confirm your little suspicions from earlier? After the liberation rite, you find Sir Gilman in an uncharacteristically quiet and contemplative mood. He salutes you crisply with his tail. Glory to you, reader, and glory to the noble Rookie Greentail. Long may he prosper in the Commonwealth. And in so doing, he may benefit the plan into which we have all been thrust. Hell yeah, the plan. The plan's current probability of success, 28%. All right, that's scary to see that statistic. Then he falls silent for a time. You sense him growing very emotional. In noble Rookie, this knight found a kindred spirit, Master Reader. One of questionable honor, the greatest cunning, and such blinding speed as to befit a minstrel's tale. This knight fears our triumphant lost something irreplaceable in him. Of course, this knight is also pleased that Ruki has achieved his freedom. Very much so. And furthermore, this knight shall now continue training even harder than before. Ruki Greentail, this knight shall train on, and until such time as he is swifter than the jagged lightning of the Deathless Tempest. Now, Master Rita, this knight must beg his leave of you, for it is time, not for his rest, but for his training. Know that he is very grateful for your wisdom and your guidance in these rites. Between yourself and Master Ruki, you have instilled within this knight an unshakable resolve. He bows low and bids you a good evening. Okay, um, can I access our items? Yes, common room. There it is. Let's go ahead and remove some items. Oh, and we do get the Thor not back. Okay, so we don't have to worry about giving people 
uh, dummy items. That's cool. Okay, so tell you what, I'm gonna start thinking about selling some of these items here. What are we selling? Uh, Rookie's tail or Rookie's like little ornament is gone. We don't need it. Uh, Joe Dariel, you're fine. We'll leave you there. Sir Gilman, I guess we'll leave you there. Yeah, we'll just put this all here. Sure. Titan Shard. After blocking adversary, uh, airborne adversaries, the bear briefly stuns them and knocks them back. I mean, we did that a lot. I have a feeling that's going to come in handy, but for the time being, we'll leave it right there. And we're making quite a little list here. We're going to have to be careful with these items. All right. Uh, let's jump ship and hopefully save. There's a save. Perfect. Uh, with that... I am going to call it for the day. I'm very tired. I need to sleep. Um, I'm not going to go to sleep yet, but I need to just chill out. I need to make dinner. And um, I will stretch and prepare a little bit more for stream tomorrow. Um, ideally, we're going to be going from 2 to 7 from now on. But um, it'll be sort of up in the air for maybe a week or two because uh there's just some stuff going on that we gotta pay a little bit more attention to so um i'm gonna try to stream a little bit more a little bit more consistently so hopefully you all have a lot more to see moving forward but um you know business as usual for right now i'll uh leave you with that uh catch me tomorrow at two join the discord if you haven't joined the discord and uh that's been my time thank you all for joining See you when I see you.